you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey youtube what's up Manchi here back with another video and in this video we're going to unlock the bootloader on the xiaomi mi a2 what are the things which we need we need the phone pretty obvious you need a computer which could be a pc a mac or a linux you need the usb cable you need to make sure that you've backed up your data because this process will wipe your internal storage again this process will wipe your internal storage so make sure you have backed up your data next thing we need is latest adb and fastboot and the drivers for the xiaomi mi a2 adb and fastboot and the drivers will be linked in the description of this video so make sure you go ahead and download those files and place them in a folder on your computer install the drivers and we'll go ahead from there all right first things first you go to the phone you go to settings you go into system then you go into about phone tap on the build number seven times you get a message you are now a developer click on the back button go into developer options and over here we need to enable oem unlocking enable and then you also need to enable usb debugging and you click on ok once that is done we'll go ahead and Turn the device off. Once you've turned off your device, you'll go ahead and press and hold volume down and at the same time, you'll press and hold the power button. Once you do that, your device will boot into fast boot mode and you'll get a screen like this. At this point, we'll go ahead and go back to the computer. Back on the computer, I have ADB and fast boot, the zip file. I'll go ahead and double click on it. It extracted itself and we have a folder called platform tools. At this point, Windows users will open command prompt. Mac and Linux users will go ahead and open terminal and connect your Xiaomi Mi A2 to the computer. Once you have opened command prompt or terminal, go ahead and navigate to the folder where you have extracted ADB and fastboot. In my case, I have extracted ADB and fastboot to a folder on my desktop called Mi A2 and inside that, I have the folder called platform hyphen tools. The first thing I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and issue the command fastboot devices. Mac and Linux users need to add a dot slash. Before the command, Windows users can go ahead and directly type in fastboot devices and press enter. So as you can see at this point, my device shows up in fastboot mode, which means we have successfully connected the Xiaomi Mi A2 to the computer in the next step we'll go ahead and unlock the bootloader all right youtube the command to unlock the bootloader on the xiaomi mi a2 is fastboot oem unlock as always mac and linux users need to add a dot slash before the command and windows users can directly type in fastboot oem unlock and then you go ahead and press enter once you press enter you'll get this screen on your phone which is giving you a warning about unlocking the bootloader and all those things and you have to use the volume keys to select whether you want to unlock or not unlock the bootloader and once you've selected the correct option you have to press the power button so we're going to use the volume keys and right now it's saying do not unlock the bootloader we press the volume down key one more time it says unlock the bootloader and we go ahead and press the power button to select our option and the device should now reboot and there the bootloader has been unlocked and the software integrity cannot be guaranteed well yes we already know that and now the device will reboot so as you can see now it is factory resetting the device and everything will be wiped so now that everything has been wiped it's going ahead and booting back into android one as you can see we now have unlocked at the bottom of the screen the first boot up after bootloader unlock will take some time so hold your horses and be patient all right guys as you can see the device has now been bootloader unlocked and it was also factory reset in the process you'll have to go ahead and set up the device again so that's it for this video youtube likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you